Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back with another Reddit BKFC Ask Me Anything with uh, Andrew Drewski. Exactly. Hey, guys. I know that's not exactly how you said your name, but uh, can you can you just pronounce it for those of us who have a better ability to enunciate than I do? Sure. So the 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 proper way to say it, the first name and the last name is Yenje. That's the name, and Durski. That's the surname. So Dusky. that's D and U for unicorn. Okay, great. All right, so we're excited. Uh, you get to be on the very first ever Bulgarian uh, card. Uh, have you always wanted to be a bare knuckle fighter, or like what kind of martial arts training did you have going into this? I mostly uh, did K K one kickboxing. I mean, I, I fell in love in K with K one kickboxing when I was watching the uh, the old K one, like the one in in Japan with yeah. with uh, Remy Boniaski, with Alistair Overeem, with Pat Ernesto Host, of course. So all the all the all the heroes, and I wa and I watched that when I was when I was younger. And uh, that was on on a sports channel uh, that was called Eurosport, and sure. that only yeah the, the 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 fights were on Monday evenings at like eight uh, sorry eleven o'clock in the evening. So we had to wait up very long to to actually just see the fight. So I remember that it was just it was waiting waiting time, and they had the, they had this uh, special program which was called the Fight Club, and they they edited all the uh, all the fights and you you get to watch those so i watched those when i was when i was younger and uh i just soaked in all that all that atmosphere of of k1 bouts and i just you know i just thought maybe maybe this is something i would like to do myself so i got into k1 kickboxing and i did that for a very long time most of my professional experience and a lot of the amateur experience is in k1 kickboxing i had a lot of amateur bouts uh, fighting for for national championships, national national cups, and only then I had the opportunity three years ago to fight for the very first time uh, in bare knuckle, and that was for uh, Bloodsport, that's Krwawy Sport, Bloodsport promotion in Poland, and I had the opportunity to fight over there, and eventually I fought for the belt, and I won the first ever Polish bare knuckle K1 kickboxing championship belt uh, in minus yeah. 80 kilograms. So I had the I had the opportunity to fight Bernaco before, and uh, once I did, uh, I fell in love with it. I wanted to do it uh, more and more often. Okay, so you mentioned being a fan of old school K one. Have you gotten to meet any of the the fighters that you really enjoyed watching when you were younger? Or um, I did not, unfortunately. I, I, oh, no, I met Ernesto Host. And Ernesto okay. Host was was holding a seminar in Poland in a, in, a, in in my former K K boxing club, and I got to meet him. But also on the on the same day I was fighting uh, uh, fighting an event, so I only got to shake his hand, do a photo, and say hello, Ernesto. <laughs> this is often coming to um, um, to to Warsaw, to Poland, because they're cooperating with uh, with Unique Fight Club and they're cooperating with Hammers Gym. So there are some opportunities to meet those guys over there, and uh, I'm going to do that in some time, of course. Is the bare knuckle boxing scene in Poland? Is there quite a few clubs, or is it uh, is it pretty small still? Or there's a big promotion in Poland. There's a big promotion which I think gained some sort of uh, international recognition. It's called Gromda. Sure, we heard of that. Is, yeah, Gromda is 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 pure uh, bare knuckle boxing. So that's we have that. There's a ring. There's no clinching. Uh, so uh, it's boxing, boxing. Okay, uh, have you have you fought on that, or is that something that you're looking at doing at some point, or are you con content with just maybe B at BKFC? some point? I didn't, yeah, I didn't fight uh, there. Um, I had the opportunity to fight in BKFC, so I just went for the went for gold straight yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, so you're not from Bulgaria; you're from Poland. Uh, can yeah. you tell us how you got on the Bulgarian card? Oh, that's a funny story, actually. That's <laughs> that's a funny story. I followed Bernaco, uh, Bernaco FC, uh, Bernaco Fight Ch Fighting Championship events from the very from the very start. So actually, when there were the first events, and uh, also there was uh, Valer Bernaco, which was a promotion by Ken Shamrock. So that mm -hmm. was also one of the first events. I was I watched that scene over over in the US, and I was very interested by it, and couldn't wait for it to to hit Poland, which eventually eventually did but i was already aware that there is something like that like a bare knuckle fighting rising up happening and um once i got into bare knuckle uh, myself i wanted to fight in bigger and bigger promotions and of course the biggest one over there is 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 bkfc 
Sure. So I tried to find my way into BK, BKFC in, in, on various occasions. I tried to go into the UK scene because, of course, flying over to America is not that easy. But I thought maybe, maybe the maybe the UK version is is going to be is more more favorable for me. Um, that didn't happen, of course. Uh, that didn't happen. And at some point, uh, I was cooperating with Kevin Smith, and Kevin Smith uh, he um, let me know that there is an opportunity that they're holding a tryout for the European version of of, your, of BKFC. So since there was an option to 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 get my hands on it, I I immediately sent the sent the uh, sent the application, and I was supposed to wait for a confirmation from them back in order to, uh, to to get to know whether I, I did apply, do they want me there or not. Uh, so I have sent it over and I was waiting for a response because they were supposed to get to you back with a response and say, okay, you're, you're good to go or not. So I'm waiting one week, two weeks, three weeks. And there's nothing, there's silence at all. And it's the last week. So like it's Monday on, on the Saturday, we're supposed to, the trials are supposed to happen in Sofia and Bulgaria. And I'm waiting Monday, Nothing happens Tuesday. Nothing happens Wednesday. I say, well, I guess, I guess it didn't, it didn't it. go my way this time. So I'm writing about, about to Kevin Smith and saying, you know, I, I think the guys don't want me there. Um, not this time to flock. And he says, no, 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 no. I've been talking to them. They know everything. They've confirmed it. You, you should go. So I was, you know, I was in a tough spot because actually I had no confirmation from them. The, theoretically, I was supposed to receive something. Kevin is saying, go there and pack, pack your, pack your shit and go. Right. Uh, so I decided, what the hell? I'm going to, I'm just going to see Bulgaria. <laughs> if nothing happens, it's going to be a miss. So I just, so I just bought a flight, uh, bought the hotel. I went over there. Wasn't actually sure what to expect, but I got, we brought my boxing gear, uh, saying that, well, if we're going to Bulgaria, they're probably going to fight some, some gorillas, some killers. So it's better to come equipped. Um, um, landed over there. Um, just let him know that I'm there. And actually, on this was supposed to happen on Saturday. And on Saturday morning in the hotel lobby, when I went for breakfast, I met uh, Lubomir Guduyev, who is the, um, the promoter on the Bulgarian side over there. And he was aware that I was I was there. He told me, hey, you're the I think you're fighting for the for the BK you came for the BKFC stuff. It went smooth from there. But up to that moment I wasn't sure if it's gonna happen or not. So it was quite an adventure. That's pretty crazy. You had to wait for weeks and then all of a sudden it's the last minute. Was it was it easy for you to get over there? Were you had you been saving money to make it or did you have to scramble for that? Well you know the time of cheap flights over Europe is gone already. So sure. um so I had to so I had to pay up a bit. But Still, this was an opportunity to get there. I wanted to get there. I wanted to to go to to BKFC and and and, and try try myself over here. So um, I just decided that you know it's worth it. Okay, so you mentioned having bare knuckle experience before. How many bare knuckle fights have you had going into this one? Three already. Okay. I got three, how did you do so far? Um, I got uh, one win and two losses. Okay. I uh, got one uh, knockout win. One decision lost and one knockout loss, unfortunately. Okay. But the one knockout loss was in a bare knuckle MMA bout, so that was not actually my uh, range of expertise. Uh, there was a, it was a gambit, and it didn't go my way. So, tough luck. So, how would you explain your? Uh, how would you describe your fighting style for those of us who've never seen you fight before? Uh, only one gear forward. Yeah. Are, 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 so I mean, you're you're constantly looking for the knockout. You don't uh, you don't wear them down with like body punches or anything. You're just head hunting and knock them out. I um, my experience is that um, there's not much time actually in uh, in in bare knuckle fighting in order to to pick your shots. You need to be you need to be decisive. You need to be quick. You need to you need to gain the upper hand as soon as possible. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for big punches. I'm looking for quick finishes. I'm looking to make it messy, make it happen, make it a dirty fight, and uh, I'm looking for the for, for the big knockout, big wins. So, would your goal be you want to come over to the United States and fight on a, a BKFC card in the United States, right? That would be your end goal. Like that's what that you would want. be the ideal scenario. But I know that is a long path ahead, so we'll do it step by step. 
first is uh, the fight in Bulgaria, and then we'll see. Okay. Do you think there'll ever be a BKFC in, in Poland? Do you think there's room for, for you know, another BKFC organization over in Poland? Is that something you, you'd like to see? I think there is there is room for for Bernacle organization in Poland. We have a we have a strong bar, local Bernacle scene uh, with the promotion I already mentioned and some of the smaller ones. So people are excited to fight in Bernacle, and I guess BKFC could find real talent here. Oh, so outside of uh, bare knuckle fighting and, and and outside of you know boxing and training and K one, what do you like to do for fun? Mm-hmm. What 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 stuff that you like to do? To enjoy yourself, I like to I like to go out in nature, man. I mean, going to the mountains or heading up to the sea. We have the benefit in Poland that to the north we can go to the seaside, and to the south we can go into the mountains. So, and it's only three hundred kilometers drive each way from the place where I live. So, uh, so we get to choose actually. And uh, if I'm uh, my usually my week is quite quite intense, intense. I do my training, I do my work, I do etc. And when I want to, when I want to rest, I want to go to tranquil places like like the seaside or the mountains. So that's that that's that's the thing I like to do the most for long walks in, in the nature. That's that's my favorite thing, just to be very intense in the city and pretty tranquil outside. What do you? Uh, what kind of job do you have? So clearly you don't fight full time yet, or do you have a job? Well, I have a job actually that most of our American viewers would uh, be able to uh, uh, to recognize because I'm working for a strong American company from John Deere. I'm working oh, for John, John Deere. Deere. Yeah, I'm working for John Deere. I'm working for in logistics. So uh, I'm just an office corporate rat <laughs> from Monday. <laughs> <laughs> from Monday to Friday, and then I change like Batman into a bare knuckle boxer. <laughs> at your gym, do you train with other bare knuckle fighters, or are you the only bare knuckle fighter at your gym? Uh, at my place, I'm the only bare knuckle fighter. Um, yeah, so when I train for bare knuckle events, I need to structure my training towards that. But a lot of things I do in a normal, like sports proper way. So only but only the some elements I like do it outside of 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 the normal training and uh, training period. So over here in the United States, it's been kind of interesting when we talk to some fighters that their uh, their gyms actually don't like them to do bare knuckle fighting. They've actually had to leave their gym. So I wasn't sure if your gym is okay with you doing it or if it's kind of like a, a taboo subject at your gym. Well, it depends actually on the trainers. There's a lot of a uh, lot of trainers who were uh, like old school guys, and I know that a lot of people are not totally convinced with the idea of of knuckle fighting at all in any discipline, whether it's it's MMA, K1, boxing, whatever. So I think this it's a growing thing, and still we need to we need to see a change in the mindset. But most of the trainers have nothing against if you're not just messing around with their schedule. If you're just doing what the other guys are doing, then no one has a, no one has an issue. Okay, and then uh, so I mean, fighting in Europe, have you fought all over Europe, or, you, or is most of your fights taking place inside Poland? I mostly fought in Poland. Okay, um, let's see. I'm trying to think what else. At what age did you start the martial arts training? Well, I was quite I was quite old actually. Okay. <laughs> I got my first amateur K1 bo- match when I was 24, I guess. So that was oh, the wow. time when a lot of people are finishing their sports careers. This is the time when I started. So, uh when I was growing up, I didn't I didn't take I was interested in violence. I was interested in uh, <laughs> in in the in, in fist exchanges, but not 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 in a sports way. So uh, so I got interested in, in sports actually to straighten up my act, as uh, there was a there was a part of me getting my shit together, and it it worked wonders for me. But still, um, I started pretty late, and I started doing yeah, you know, started gaining experience also pretty late, and I had to uh, double up on that. So I had multiple multiple uh, amateur bouts in order to catch that experience to be able to to compete with. With more seasoned fighters, which were which had their careers uh, from 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 uh, from earlier age, but I was always on all those uh, all those fights, on those bouts, on those tournaments. I was always the well, mostly, but I guess I was always the oldest guy over there. So as the yeah. oldest dog, 
the old man. <laughs> the old man. I was the old man in the young men's game. <laughs> okay, so growing up, were you kind of a, a a a bad kid? You know, you'd get in a lot of fights, or um, you know, some house issues, which which I which I there was some energy that I needed to uh, to uh, uh, to let go of, and it didn't go in a in a good way. There was a lot of street fights. There was a lot of alcohol. There was a lot of altercations with the law. So, um, I st uh, so up till a moment, there was my life was total chaos. But after after some time, when I just decided to to get a grip, uh, sports has been one of the one of the um, cornerstones actually of me getting my act together. So it was a very important uh, part of of all the of all the whole process. Was there one moment that you, you said, like, I can't do this anymore? Or is it just a, a, like over time you said enough is enough? Or th was there that one defining moment you said, I, I, I got to change my ways or something bad's going to happen to me? Um, the most def the defining moment was when I was, I, I had my 30th birthday. And I always thought that the 30th birthday is going to be the moment, like, uh, like a defining moment. Like everybody's going to be there. They're going to have a cake. You know, it's going to be a, good, a big party. Like, uh, a, a big, big moment, and I spent it totally alone, oh, wow. with uh, with a cake that I bought myself, with some candles that I bought myself, and I lighted and I blew them up myself, and I looked at all the stuff that was happening around me, and I said, "God damn, how the fuck did I get here? <laughs> yeah, how the hell did I get here?" And that was uh, that was a moment. At that time, I was already I was already competing in in martial arts, but. I also had some some sense of that old life with me, which which like was going side by side. But uh, that moment, that that evening, was the moment when I said, "Okay, man, like enough is enough, man. Uh, you need to change it. You need to change something." So and that how was. How old are you if, now? If there is a one defining moment over there that that changed me, that flipped my attitude, definitely that was the one. How old are you now? I'm thirty-seven. So seven okay. years ago. Wow. Well, at least, you know, it turned for the best. Well, who is your biggest support system? Do you have a, a big family that supports you or? Uh... No, actually I have only, I only have my mom. <laughs> I only have my mom. My mom supports me, but um, um, I try to not to share too much details with her because she worries about, she worries too much. My great support, my great support is my fiance, uh, okay. Margaret Margojata. She's my great supporter. She believes in me. She believed in me when I was a when I was a douchebag, and she believes in me now when I'm trying to <laughs> when I'm trying to get my shit together now when when things are going uh, my way. So uh, she's a big supporter, and uh, I would say that she's a big part of of, of me getting my my act. Uh, it, will she be going with you to Bulgaria? No, 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 no. I mean, so will she watch it at home with your mom? Will, will your mom watch, or she won't watch because she gets too nervous? I'm 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 not sure. <laughs> I think I'll just spare her the spare her the uh, um the, the the image. I will just tell her afterwards. <laughs> it's yeah. all said and done. I know that when my when my fiance went to my former fights, she was also very stressed out. So, um, you know, she uh she 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 lives with me with all those feelings. She feels them like, like I do. Even I don't know, maybe even more. So I so I also want to spare her the, the difficulties. I'll just let her watch it on the phone or on the TV, and and that's it. When you go to Bulgaria, will you be alone, or do you have a coach that's going with you? Or I have a coach that is going with me, and also uh, my teammates are flying in. Oh, cool. So actually, I'm going to have a few supporters over there on on so I'm going to have some boots on the ground. So that's cool. They're going to go into the corner with me. And they're also the guys which helped me out during my preparation period. So it's, it's going to be like the whole, the whole, uh, the whole big, the whole fight, the whole preparation, the, is a, is a sport, is a team event. So the, t the whole team will be there and it's going to be great. I and mean, it's going to be good. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because it's, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be amazing for sure. How is your weight loss going? Are you, are you pretty close to weight or do you still have uh, quite a bit of weight to drop? Well, I still got like six kilos to go. So, um, but I'm beginning on Sunday. So today is Friday. We got mm -hmm. two days, two days to go. Uh, so on Sunday, I'm all beginning this uh, this brutal cut. I don't like that that moment. I guess that 
I, I don't I don't know if you found any guy that told you that he likes to do weight. There's also going to be a little twist because uh, I'm going to fly over there over to Bulgaria on Tuesday. Okay. So that's going to be within that uh, weight making period. Um, it's gonna it's gonna disrupt a bit the process. So it's gonna be interesting how it's gonna work out. But we'll just do the best we can in order to to get it done. I'm not experiencing any problems. I never had one. I'm in, I'm I'm in good hands. I got a good specialist. He's also coming over. So um so I know that uh, I can count on him. And if anything goes wrong, I just call him up and uh, and we can do it. But still, uh, he's a guy. I can tell you a, a good a great cutting story. Please. Yeah. Uh, um, we were on a on a tournament. In, in the Polish mountains, and uh, when you when you go for amateur tournaments in Poland, you weigh in on the first day. So, for example, the, the tournaments is you weigh in on Friday, you start fighting on Saturday, and your second weigh is on weigh in is on Sunday. Okay. So you need to keep your weight. So I did uh, I did my weight cut on Friday, but there were so many participants that they had to push the fights from Saturday to Sunday because they, 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 couldn't, they couldn't make all the fights during one day. So what that immediately meant, I also needed to cut again, uh, weight on to, to reach the Sunday weigh-in. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had four kilos to go. We had four kilos to go and 12 hours to do it. So um, it sounds tough, but we did it. We did it. I felt like shit, but we did it. <laughs> And uh, I remember that in order to to cut that cut that weight, I had this uh, this special, you know, what's a plastic sauna suit, yeah, something like that. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So I had that, and uh, since uh, there was not not a lot of infrastructure over there to 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 help me out with that, no sauna, no no anything. So what I did is I put up that sauna suit and I started running. And since there was the Polish mountains and it was like uh, March, so it was not that not that hot. And I was just running up and down the hill, <laughs> listening to music, trying to trying to sweat it out. And uh, the mountains are beautiful in the morning. I can tell you that. <laughs> I will never forget the sign of the mountain. When I was just running, like, I don't know, it was the third or fourth time when I got running up a hill and I was seeing the mountains on the, <laughs> on the top, like all uh, reddish from, from, the, from, the, from the sun, which was good, which was, uh, which was uh, setting. So it was a nice experience, but we did it. We did it. We did four kilos on uh, within twelve hours. So that was amazing. So the same specialist that is go is coming uh, with me to this event. So even even uh, so even if if we're flying over there and there are going to be some disruptions, I, I believe it's gonna, everything's going to be fine. Good. I have trust okay. in that. We uh we don't know much about the the Bulgarian fighters. Do you know anything about your opponent? Have you seen any video of him? Like I said, I, I couldn't yeah, tell you anything yeah. about him. Yeah, okay. I saw some uh, I saw some YouTube uh, videos of him. He's uh he's an experienced MMA fighter. He's keeping it active. He also had one Bernak boxing fight, and uh, he did pretty well over there. He fought Will Choke. Okay. So that's a, that's a name that's also somehow somehow recognized. So that's no 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 easy feat to beat beat that guy. But he did mm -hmm. over three rounds. So I watched some of his fights. Uh, generally, I I assume I know what to expect. Uh, but the guy the guy is a, is a tough one. The guy is a tough one. That's that's for sure. Um, and it's a tough a tough uh, tough opponent. But I'm not easy to go myself. So sure. I experienced. So I expect that we're gonna meet in the middle of the, of, of the of the squared circle and just slug it out. Okay, so the fight starts pretty early on Friday, but you were telling me uh, before we started that you know you're you're later on in the card, so hopefully everybody will be able to watch you. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Of course, I hope so. Like you're gonna see some warm up fights and then the bloodbath. Yeah. Okay, so I will go ahead and include links to your Instagram and your YouTube. Is there any other social media that you like to talk to people on, or is that, that your two main forms? You can also put my uh, Facebook channel, because uh, Facebook uh, accounts too. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, well, I'll have you send me that, and I'll do that. Well, sure. we appreciate all your time. Is there anybody you want to give a thank you to, like, uh, sponsors or, or anybody like that before we go? Well, I would like to thank all my team. So first and foremost, uh, I would like to thank uh, Bollock. Bollock is, is my uh, boxing coach. We've been hitting pads 
recently. So uh, yesterday we, we we had our our last session. So thank you very much for for your help. Also, uh, I would like to thank David, who is my strength and strength and uh, strength and conditioning coach. He's, he's also coming over. He also helped me a lot and helped me with, with my injuries uh, with the process. Uh, Jacob. Jacob Pohalski, he's the nutritionist that I spoke about. He's the guy who's coming over. Like big thank you, big shout out to him. He really helped me during my uh, during during this process, and I he I'm knowing I'm I'm in good hands when he's keeping an eye on on my weight and all my nutrition and all my vitamins. And of course, a big thank you and big kisses and love to my fiance Malgojata. Uh, thank you very much for your help and for your support. And I'd like to also thank everybody who's, who's been helping me. With my sparring, uh, with my training sessions over here, um, I couldn't have done it without any of you guys. So you did a great job. Thank you very much. Great, thank you. We look forward to watching you fight. Yeah, fantastic. Have a, have a good night. Yeah, thank you too.